How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Uh, reviewing some uh, California beers today as I am in San Diego right now. Uh, got to LA a couple days ago. Um, yeah, arrived, had a de delayed flight, Air Canada, what you expect, right? But uh, yeah, got here uh, safely, soundly, and uh, went to uh, Palm Springs a bit, drove through the mountains, stuff like that, great sights, uh, absolutely beautiful in that area. Um, and uh, yeah, arrived in San Diego, first stop was at Pure Project Brewing Company out in uh, Miramar. Um, right close to the uh, airport there or the uh, air shows where they have that military base um, but today's beer is going to be their pale ale uh, Merklands which I think is one of their regular offerings 5.5 percent alcohol by volume it uh, features citra hops as well as a couple other varieties I think like Centennial maybe something else in there as well but um yeah 5.5% alcohol by volume, don't know the IBUs, but uh, should be good. Um, let it die down a bit, it did have a large head and I couldn't really get much of an aroma off of it. But uh, yeah, it's died down a bit, so let's get an aroma off this beer. Mmm, wow. Peaches and mangoes, that's all I'm getting off this. like. That is one of the more aromatic, like, pale ales I've had. That is just straight up juice. I had a couple of their IPAs at their brewery. Uh, I think uh, Cascade Trophic or something like that. And uh, Electric Lemonade. Really good, but this is way more aromatic. I wasn't really expecting that much aroma on uh, regular, like, pale ale, you know. Yeah, that is just straight up juice. I mean, layers and layers of like super fruity uh, hop aromas. Yeah, just stone fruit, citrus, bit of tropical fruit in there. And maybe a slight like vanilla y kind of maltiness to it as well. Maybe some honey in there. Yeah, that smells amazing. I cannot wait to try that out. Let's do that. Cheers. Yeah, I mean... That's awesome. That is super well balanced. There is a slight bitterness that like a slightly tongue numbing sort of grapefruit peel kind of bitterness when you bite into a grapefruit, but just the right amount, you know? Yeah, you're getting grapefruit off this one. Tons and tons of stone fruit. I'm just getting peaches for days. Mouthfeel, awesome. Wow. That's got to be one of the most pleasant, like, New England uh, pale ale IPA mouthfeels I've ever had. Not too bitter at all. Super well balanced, soft as hell. I mean, that is really good. Yeah, it's definitely got a nice amount of carbonation that you could just drink it all day, but it's got such a soft, like, bready kind of mouthfeel. That is beautiful stuff. Yeah, I'm starting to, like, drift towards the lower ABV. Um, like a four to seven ish percent New England IPAs, and this is why because it's so crushable, um, so flavorful. What these breweries can do with a low ABV beer, you know, um, this tastes like I can tell the difference between this and like a, a double IPA, you know. I mean, that is so much flavor. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, everything about this is awesome. There's a rating on this beer. Uh, a, A plus, right around a, a 97. That is awesome stuff. And it's just a pale ale. It's not even an IPA. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, if you're in Miramar in uh, California here, 
uh, definitely, definitely uh, check out a Pure Project. All of their beers are fantastic. I love their Pilsner. I don't say that a lot about uh, North American breweries, but their Pilsner, unfiltered, awesome. Nice hoppiness to it, but uh, super crushable. Um, their uh, coffee stout, stuff like that, amazing. Hibiscus Saison, only beer I've ever actually enjoyed with hibiscus in it. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Definitely check out Pure Project. Um, let me know what y'all think of this beer, any of their other beers, um, if you've had them. And uh, yeah, till the next time, cheers.